What is better for your YouTube video? A minimalistic preview or the one with a lot of information on it? And how to make a thumbnail that looks professional and even helps you drive more traffic to your videos quick and easy? You'll find out if you watch this video to the very end. Hi, my name is Roman and this is Mobavi Vlog, your go-to channel for making greater videos. And in today's video, I want to focus on thumbnails. Because unfortunately, even if you have the best video in the history of YouTube, but no one clicks it in search results and in the suggested feed, then you won't get any views. In the first part of the video, I'm going to share with you the top 5 tips to follow when it comes to creating awesome thumbnails for your channel. And in the second part of this video, I will show you how to make a thumbnail step by step. For my tutorial, I'll be using Movavi Photo Editor, but if you're using something else, even Photoshop, then just follow along, because the steps are gonna be mostly the same for you. I hope that after my video, you'll be able to make the same results on your channel, so that you can really optimize those thumbnails and get more views and more clicks on your videos. If you're interested in all of that, then stick around, because this video is going to be really helpful. But before we dive in, though, give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. So let's get started right now. And the first tip that you have to follow when it comes to creating thumbnails is to show your face. Well, you can actually experiment with this. For example, you can use some stock photos from time to time and then use previews with your face. And after that, you'll get to know what would perform better and get more views on your channel. But if you don't want to waste your time, just try to stick to this simple rule and always show your face on your thumbnail. The reason why it's really important is because a lot of people like to consume that kind of content on YouTube that feels human, real and personal. Nobody likes when it's overly commercialized. And when you use stock photos or images, it takes away that human element in it. Of course, this might depend on the niche that you're in, but if you have a personal brand, then showing your face is proved to be really important. Tip number two. When viewers are scrolling through the YouTube feed, they're always paying attention to the thumbnails over the titles. And that's why a lot of thumbnails actually have text on them. It gives us a clear idea of what the video is about, and we can decide to click on it and view it. And if you're also adding text to your thumbnails, it's really important to keep it simple. Just remember the rule, not more than four words. Actually, it will be even better to make it less than four words. Just because when you're looking at thumbnails on mobile, the more text you have, the less you're able to read it. But when you have only four words or even less, it's gonna be a lot easier to see what's written on your thumbnails for your viewers. Okay, but what kind of text to add on your thumbnail? Well, there are two options when it comes to adding text to your thumbnail. Option one is to say it like it is and literally use your title to explain exactly what your viewers are going to get from your video. You're talking about fall fashion trends? Then your title is going to be Fall Fashion Trends 2020. This way, people can expect the same exact content that they assume when they're looking at your thumbnail. Option two is to do a more of a clickbait title. In that case, you can put one or two words that really go to evoke a reaction or curiosity from your audience. It could be uh, really effective in order to create an emotional response from your viewers. Which option is better and what to choose? Well, it's up to you. You can experiment with both options and see what works better on your channel. My next tip is very much related to the previous one, and it's about fonts that you're going to use for your thumbnails. Well, if you want to add some text to your preview so people can clearly see what your video is all about, always avoid fancy fonts. Well, yes, fancy fonts are beautiful and look amazing on a website, but they convert terribly on YouTube, especially on a small screen like mobile. These kinds of fonts tend to be hard to read, so it's much better to use simple, clean and bold fonts like Poppins, Montserrat or something else. 
Tip number four. When it comes to creating thumbnails, it's better to keep the most important information on the left hand side. So once you've chosen your font, the photo or for yourself and what exactly you're going to have as the text in your thumbnail, then make sure that the most important information that you want people to see and read stays on the left hand side. You have to do this just because there are tons of YouTube icons on the right hand side. And if you don't want them to cover the most important pieces of information that you have on your thumbnail, then place it on the left side. And here's the last tip before we move to the tutorial. So, if you want your thumbnails to be attractive and even visible from a distance, it's gotta be big. I'm not talking about the actual dimensions cause they are all the same. I'm talking about the elements in your thumbnail. They really need to be large enough for anyone to actually see it on a tiny mobile screen. So don't bother putting tiny phrases, symbols or emojis, cause it's just going to look like dots on mobile. When you're creating your thumbnail on your photo editor, it might look big, but when you actually shrink it down into a YouTube feed, it looks microscopic. So please consider this when you're creating previews. To make sure that your thumbnail elements are large enough to be optimized for YouTube, just shrink your thumbnail before you upload it. And if you can clearly see what's on it when it's, let's say, 20% or, or, or even 10%, then it's good to go. Okay, now get into the thumbnail tutorial. First of all, you need to choose the tools that you're going to use. You can use almost any photo editor, both free and paid, like Photoshop, Pixelmator, Canva, Snappa, or something else. I'm using Movavi Photo Editor. Now I'm gonna make a thumbnail using all the tips that I've mentioned before. This means there will be my face on it, no more than four words written in a simple font, all elements will be large and the most important things will be placed on the left hand side. This is exactly the kind of preview I'll try to create right now. So the first thing we're gonna need is a photo to work with. I personally think that it's better to make some specific photo for your thumbnail, but if you forgot to do it or you just don't have the right photo for that particular preview, you can always make a snapshot from your video. I'm gonna use this photo of myself, hope you like it. Uh, I will upload it to the Movavi photo editor, cause first I need to remove the original background from that picture. On our channel, there's a great tutorial on how to do it. I will link it down below. In Movavi Photo Editor, there's a special tool for that, an automatic background removal. Choose a photo and import it to the photo editor. There's a change background tool on the toolbar above. Use the green brush to mark the object you want to keep on the image. And then use the red brush to mark the object you want to remove. Now let's fix some small details just like this. Here we go. Now save it in PNG format. By the way, if you'd like to get Movavi Photo Editor at a good price, you can use our promo code VLOG15 to get a 15% discount on this or any other Movavi program. Just enter your promo code while checking out or just hit the link below. It will take you directly to a page with Movavi Photo Editor and the discounts applied to it. Now back to the tutorial. Since you're going to use your face on the preview, you can retouch it a little bit to remove some minor flaws and imperfections, like acne or some birthmarks. You can also make your smile a little bit wider. So I'm going to retouch my photo just a little bit too, here and here. Okay, I think that's enough. I'm also going to use a screenshot of our channel and the YouTube logo as a background. So I'll make a screenshot here and then Google for a YouTube logo. Alright, moving on. And now let's put everything together. I've already prepared a template. It's a 1280 to 720 rectangle. This is the standard size of the YouTube preview. Now I drop the template to the Movavi Photo Editor. Then I'm going to add all the pictures one by one. First of all, I will add a background, expand it and reduce its opacity. I understand that these small details will not be visible, but I want the background behind my back to be a little more complex and not monochrome or just white. Now I'm going to add my retouched photo. Let's place it over here on the right hand side. 
Don't forget that there are some YouTube icons on the right side of the thumbnail. So I recommend not to overlap this part with text or a lot of small details. It's not a good idea to put important information there. No one will be able to read it just because of these icons. Okay, then I'm going to add the YouTube logo. Let's place it over there. And now I just need to add some text. Let it be a phrase thumbnail tutorial. I think that's enough. It's plain and simple. Here you can choose the appropriate size and font. As I said before, it's better to use thick, clear and readable fonts, so your viewers will be able to read it even on small screens. Well, I think this one is okay. And now, just in case, let's just shrink it to check if it's gonna be readable on, on a small screen. Well, I think it's fine. Well, that was it for today's video, guys. I hope that after my tips, it will be much easier for you to make thumbnails for your channel. Let me know in the comments below if this video was helpful for you. Thanks for watching, my name is Roman, and I'll see you very soon. Bye!